She's done a wonderful job. She's put to dear, did, and granddid, and great granddid. Suffice to say, I have to say, living 290, as longevity was not always known in our family, but it seems to be proving differently with Dad, who's got all his marbles. She doesn't let you get away with anything. And, uh, as you all know, he's had quite a, an active life and achieved uh, a great deal and a big family and we're all here today. And there is a book about Dad that Barry made, it's in the other room, if anybody hasn't seen it, um, then, you know, it can be passed round. And we're all very happy to be here today. We all love you, Dad. I'm not going to say loads and loads because you know how we all feel. Lovely to see the children. Wonderful that we can all be together. And I'm going to light the candles. Happy birthday to you. And Gloria will remember this because she was, she was at the receiving end of being left behind one day. Is we used to often disown Dad because this rather energetic young man used to come out of the house in a baseball cap, which people didn't wear in those days, and sort of looking very American. And he'd run down the road because he'd go running every day. So sometimes people say, "Who's that?" I don't know. Who's that, that man? And he took Gloria with him once, didn't he? And uh, she was only little, weren't you? Left, me Left her behind because she couldn't <laughs> keep up. <laughs> Left her on a wall somewhere for collection later. Oh. <laughs> Which only beats it my mum me going life. shopping for shoes and coming home on the bus and saying, oh my God, we've left Gloria in the shop. <laughs> I, I have a fear now of being still alone. Still <laughs> 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 and Dad's still Learned running. Run you couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> Top half and bottom half separately, but he's still running. So a great achievement, Dad. A great achievement. And it's really good to have everyone here to celebrate. So um, with no further ado, I think Barry's going to yeah. say a They broadcast the chimes of Big Ben on radio. I don't think it was, I don't think it was anything to do with Dad. Dad didn't have a radio, didn't he? It was my problem. But I'm happy that... that Everybody's here today, which is a wonderful thing on this auspicious occasion, Dad's landmark, landmark birthday, and um, I'd just like to say from the bottom of my heart, and on behalf of everybody here, that you're costing us a fortune in birthday cards. <laughs> what? Like in birthday cards. You're costing us a fortune in birthday cards. But, but long may it continue. Yeah. So if you'd all like to raise your glasses and toast Dad's 90th birthday. Yes. Yeah. 
superstition about number 11 because it's not not it's not superstition i don't think it can be it must be fake so what do you think what do you think about i'm going to take eileen's opinion when i talk to eileen she says dad don't for goodness sake i think it's good luck yes i'm going to tell you something if it is good i mean this seriously if it is good luck i'm 90 today but if, if this number 11 that I've carried right through the last 70 years on my back, and you've given it to me today, I can't, I can't believe that you give me a shot with number 11. If it's true, I'm going to live another 11 years. Will you come to my hundred? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll if you, put, you arrange for somebody to push my wheelchair, I'll make sure there's a carer to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who went to that? Yeah. My hundred. 